Hi guys! So, uh, I'm watching episode 6 of season 6 of Game of Thrones and I know the name of this episode is called Blood of My Blood. Yeah, I didn't have to um, search for it. So, it's currently Monday, it's... No, yeah, it's Monday on... It's 3 in the morning and it's been 24 hours since God came out and I've been panicking all this time because I know I'm going to get spoiled any minute now so yeah I'm I'm going to record now <laughs> um, yeah sometimes this is hard like I put this is hard because I just want to snuggle up in my PJs and watch the show by myself and not record but then I feel guilty because something awesome happens and I didn't record and I say why no yeah <laughs> this is my rant and uh, uh, Game of Thrones uh, did some things some uh, it uh, had a shooting in Portugal, here, uh, actually in a very close place where I live, uh, but I don't know what they record. I think it was King, King's Landing stuff, because they record, uh, they sh uh, shot in, in a place called, uh, called Sintra, and in Sintra it's very King's Landing-like. Or maybe Bravos. It's it's like um, it's not medieval. It's more uh, how do I say? more romantic. The, the architecture. It's more romanticish. The streets and stuff is more King's Landing like. So. Yeah, I really and they asked for people to come and do extras and stuff. So I'm curious where the shooting is going to appear. It's all Brand's fault. The ones that are running in the forest are the ones that are the, the ones that oh okay they found us shit so 
so are they going to die? The hell are you? Is that called hands? I know the story. But I didn't read the books. The skull hands have a lightning stick. The hell? White walkers, no, the walkers or the whites, whatever, are very flammable. Come with me now. Is that bad? Is that bad? That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my god. I can't believe it. It's so green. Oh, yes. Once you get south of the riverlands, very different sorts of trees start to take over. Maple, elm, beech, poplar. The old willow. Of course, now that summer's over, You'll start seeing the autumn colours coming in. The autumn. Still, you'll find more green here than anywhere else. You're nervous. You're a nervous talker. <laughs> That's not any better being a nervous mute. I didn't think I'd ever come back here. After my father made me renounce my title and inheritance, and my friend to kill me if I didn't. The person just doesn't feel welcome at that point. But I certainly didn't expect to be introducing into my family. So, you know what to tell them. That little Sam is your baby? Yes, no, that's very important. If he thinks that little Sam is his grandchild, he'll take you in. He'll, he'll get an education, he'll learn to read. You can help teach him. Huh? What did you tell your family about me? I told them I met you in the north. Did you tell them how far north? Well, it, it wasn't a very large piece of parchment. You didn't tell them where I'm really from. You didn't tell them I'm a wildling. The thing is, my father doesn't like wildlings. He hoped I'd make a man of myself by killing some bloody wildlings. So it's probably a good subject to avoid, if at all possible. I, I think we're here. How do you know we never been there? How do you know we were here? Well, that's a very large building. Oh, 
mistreated you. No, Your Grace. I've missed you. More than you could know. We'll be together again soon. And everything will be better than it was before. But how? Soon. Walk of Atonement. He says there's no other way. Have you spoken to him at all, the High Sparrow? Yes. A few times. You. Yes, I have. He's not quite what we thought he was, is he? <laughs> you think I'm mad. I sound mad. No, no, you don't. You, you could never. You're right, he's not. He's a lot more... He is. There's something about him. His way of looking at the world. I uh, know she's kidding. It's not an easy thing admitting to yourself what you really are. It's taken me a while. He's helped me. What are you talking about? You're a good person. You've always been a good person. You're the best person I know. <laughs> I, I was just telling him about your devotion to the poor. Ah, yes. I visited their hovels and I fed them soup and I made sure I was seen doing it. I never gave them what they really needed, though. I've had lots of time to think about how good I was at seeming good. All those stories I told myself about who I was and why I did the things I did. There were so many lies in those stories. I don't understand. It's all right, it really is. It's such a relief to let go of those lies. about Loris. I love my brother. I will always love my brother. His soul is pure and perfect. His sins don't erase that purity. They only obscure it. He just that needs to atone for them. What kind of sins? sins? Sooner or later, one way or another. Like being gay the same. have a plan for us all. It's hard to walk 
This architecture is very familiar. You remember the things that I was talking about? The things shooting shoots in Portugal. That arch in the door was very familiar. <laughs> Dear God, no. Samuel, would you care for more bread? Oh, yes. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you, Mother. Not fat enough already. I travelled south with the orders from the Lord Commander. He wants me to... She's a great honor. He can wield a sword. He killed a fan. Killed a white walker. <laughs> I've no such thing. I saw it with my own eyes on our way down to Castle Black. He drove the dagger into the walker's heart. He risked his own life to save mine more than once. He's a greater warrior than either of you will ever be. Your way down to Castle Black. Where did he kill a white walker? Where are you from? How did you come to meet my son? The Night's Watch came to our keep. Where? Can I... North of the wall. North of the wall. Sword. It's called Heart's Pain. 
been in our family for 500 years. Valerian steel. Only a handful of them left in the world. I'm supposed to go to my firstborn son after I die. Then he will never wield that sword. If he were to become Lord Tarly of Orn Hill, it would be the end of this house. Took you for a mole's town hall when I saw you, and I make my peace with that. Who else would I have? Do I overestimate him? No. It was a wild thing of war that seduced my son. Is you getting back at me, boy? Hmm? Bringing that to my table and making me die with it! You got what you were after, didn't you? A bastard. A half-breed bastard. Your invitation into our home. Come on, dear. Tala. I've lost my appetite. He dishonors us. You dishonor yourself. Your mother's a fine woman. You're not worthy of her. Please, sir, I'll take the wildling in if you can work in the kitchens. The bastard will be raised here. And this will be the last night you ever spend at home, Hill. I'm sorry, you know, I let him treat you that way. I was afraid he'd turn you and little Sam away. I'm not angry at you. I'm angry that horrible people can treat good people that way and get away with it. When do you have to go? First line. <laughs> Say goodbye to him for me. You're not what he thinks you are, Sam. He doesn't know what you are. Why do I think that she's gonna die? Taking the fucking sword. It's my family sword. Sam, won't he come for it? He can bloody well try. <laughs> oh, the red, the purple wedding. I am the Rosa one. I thank the gods above. And to you, my beauteous bride, I pledge undying love. Hail King Joffrey! Hail Queen Marjorie! I'll drink a toast to my new queen, for there is no one fairer. Dear uncle, will you share my joy and be my royal cup bearer? Drink long and deep, my noble king, from this cup of sweet wine. The last drink he shall ever take, and vengeance shall be mine! <laughs> Oh, 
It's funnier now. There is no tomorrow. 